Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing 3D photo effect using Facebook images. Yeah, I said Facebook. So this is an option that you have uh, on Facebook now. Yeah, I think it's a, one of the new options where you can actually create 3D photos out of regular photos. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this for an architectural rendering because this of course is an architectural ch uh, channel. So we're going to be creating this amazing 3D rendering that you can then upload on, on, on Facebook and you can apply the software and you get this cool 3D effect. But of course you can't just upload the image, there is actually a process and you have to create two images that then Facebook uses to blend into one and create that, uh, that 3D effect. So this is going to be mostly a Photoshop tutorial. And now before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it actually helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make useful tutorials each week, mostly Revit tutorials and I upload uh, multiple tutorials each week and also I upload one course each week, one one hour advanced Revit course and that's up on my Patreon, first a link in the description of this video, there you can find all of my advanced courses like I've got 26 one hour or more courses out so far and then also I, ha I have all of my project files for like for example the files that I'm going to be creating in this tutorial so check that out okay without with that out of the way let's get into the tutorial so as you can see here on my uh, computer uh, I have here uh, the Revit rendering that I have so this is from my student project for this from from my master thesis project and this is what I'm going to be using for uh, this uh, tutorial now the reason that I chose this image is because it has multiple levels of depth. Now this is really important. Uh, you have to have an image that has something that's close, uh, really close to the camera. So in this case that would be this, this ground, this wall over here. And then it's gradually going away from the camera and that you can see here uh, with the... Uh, with this building, the big sphere, of course, which is kind of mid frame. And then in the background, we have one row of buildings over here. So that's this building, this round building, and this, these two. And then we have a second row of buildings in the back. And of course, uh, the furthest back is, of course, the sky. So we need to have that uh, a lot of these uh, levels of depth. And that's going to make this uh, Photoshop uh, photo uh, or this Facebook 3D photo effect much more. Uh, much better. Uh, you're, you will be able to get more of that 3D effect the more levels of depth you have. If you just have one flat image it's not going to work that well. Okay so this is the image that we're going to be using and I'm just going to open it up with Photoshop. So just right click on that, uh, open with and I'm just going to go with Photoshop. Now I'm using the CS6 version. If you're using probably one of the newer versions it works pretty much the same so don't worry about that. Okay so here we have the image and the first thing that we need to do for uh, this image perhaps maybe enhance it just a little bit so what I like to do is I like to go to go to these effects and here we have these uh, kind of it's called the color lookup and basically it gives you it's kind of some of those uh, effects and I like to use the film stock effect over here now if you don't have this adjustments window just go here to windows and then uh, find adjustments over here and that window will pop up so we have that adjustment over here in the layers and then I'm just going to draw uh, draw back the uh, kind of the fill uh, or the opacity either one of those maybe yeah let's uh, let's do the opacity at like 30%, I don't know. So it's just a little bit brighter and a little bit better. Okay, so the point of this is we need to create a secondary image. So the secondary image is going to be some sort of a grayscale image where everything that's farther in the back is going to get darker or it's going to get, go up to black, the sky is going to be black and everything that's closer to you is going to be white and these edges over here that are closest to us are actually going to be like white, completely white. So for that I need to create a new layer, so just go here to uh, create new layer and there we go, we have a new layer and that's pretty much it, we're not going to have that many layers for this one, so don't worry about that. 
Okay, so now we have a blank layer and I'm actually going to be using this uh, magic wand tool. Uh, okay, uh, let's deselect. Okay, you need to be here on the on the image or on your rendering and then just select the sky. Uh, now it might uh, look like this and it might mess it up a little bit, but don't worry, you can fix that uh, later. So I like to do that selection and then I go here to my lasso tool. So just uh, hold your click and do with the polygonal lasso tool. I, I like to use that one and then set here to kind of remove from selection and I'm actually just going to remove uh, of course this part from selection just because this isn't the sky so kind of like this maybe even this part and uh, let's see this part as well now this being a 3d image for Facebook you don't have to be that precise I'm just going to try to kind of be a little bit precise so maybe this part of the building here this edge of the building so let's fix that there we go I think this looks good enough okay so we have the sky selected now so I'm going to go to our new layer layer one and I'm just going to right click go with fill and then let's make sure that we use black and just click enter and there we go so we've got a black sky so uh, that's good for now so that's that's a start now we need to select these buildings in the background and then we're going to be making some changes to those so what you need to do for that is just right click to deselect uh, then I like to turn off of the layer one uh, just because I, I don't like to look at that black sky while I'm making selections so here are the buildings in the back so we have this one so again I'm just going to be using the polygonal lasso tool for this one so you just go like this around the outline of the building which kind of goes uh, let's go like this and you just double click to complete the selection and then I'm going to select this one now keep in mind that I'm not a Photoshop expert I'm a Revit expert and I'm just using this for Photoshop okay here we need to go to this one uh, add to selection yeah I messed that up okay so let's go and as you can see I'm just making this selection over here you just double click in the end to complete and also here we have just a small building in the back that we can see so I'm just going to include that as well okay go back to layer one turn that on and now for color I'm going to go here with black and white then open up that uh, color picker and then I'm just going to move this a bit up so let's move it to 15% and then I'm just going to color these buildings like that into kind of really dark gray okay so once we've completed that we can go to the selection tool right click and then uh, deselect okay so we have that deselected now now what I'm going to be doing uh, for the second row of buildings is go back to our image turn off uh, layer one and then let's select these buildings so these buildings again are just a matter of selecting just like this so you go all the way around select your building now it's really good when you're when you have these rectangular buildings it makes it a lot easier to select those so it's this one it's of course the, the big blue tower so let's select that one okay I think I'm almost done there we go so we have that selection and let's select this building as well Okay, and as you can see now we have all of these buildings selected, the, the first row of buildings, then go back to our layer 1, turn it on, then go to our brush tool, and then for color we're going to move this a bit up here, maybe like that, and then let's paint these again this dark gray. Okay, and uh, for this building over here, so I'm just going to go back to our selection tool, right click, deselect, and then I'm just going to grab this building over here that we have kind of in the background, and I'm just going to paint that uh, some different colors. So let's go with the, this dark one, and then let's just move up a little bit up. And there we go. So we have some intermediate uh, 
color there so just to deselect okay so we've got all of the buildings in the back now what we're going to be doing for uh, this like a large complex as you can see it's just one mesh of buildings here in this image so we can't really use that approach so what we're going to be doing is actually using a gradient so that's really useful so uh, what I'm going to be doing for that gradient is basically uh, what I like to do I think the quickest way of selecting is to go here to layer one and then just use the magic like wand tool for selection and then just select the bottom part and as you can see everything highlights so I'm just going to use the lasso tool to remove from selection and I'm just going to remove the uh, big white sphere just because I want to uh, add the color for that a bit later on so I'm just going to go kind of like this go all the way around just removing the sphere yeah just like that okay here we go almost done there we go. So as you can see, everything except the sphere is selected. So now go back here and I'm actually going to paint it here uh, white first. So just paint everything white just like that. Okay, then switch the colors and then let's go with something like this perhaps. Let's see. And then uh, just make sure you're using the brush, uh, make sure that the hardness is zero. And then the size, I'm just going to go here with the size, I think, because it's correct. And then just go here in the middle and click like that. So you kind of make, make a gradient, maybe make it a bit smaller. Okay, not that small. Yeah, just like that, create a radiant and gradient and then maybe just do the edges in a bit harder white. Okay, so you have to play around with that just a little bit maybe use a bit darker here but just a lot smaller okay so it's really tricky to pick point the size of the brush but there we go I think this will work and then here because this is just the street there I'm going to use a bit of a darker brush I'm just going to make this uh, a bit smaller there we go so for this one just like that and there we go i think this will uh i think this should work so what i'm going to do now is just do a little bit of white here on the edges so just uh, make the brush a bit bigger let's see kind of like that and then just do this so i want to have like white edges okay so uh, i think this looks uh, better let's uh let me just go back a few times maybe i've added too much of that white okay maybe like this okay so i'm happy with the way this looks uh, right now so i'm just going to deselect so just right click deselect and then uh, just go ahead and use the selection tool make sure that level one is selected and then just select the sphere and the, for the sphere what you're going to do is you're going to go with the brush tool uh, hold the control key and then select this color over here and then you're just going to open that color up and use a bit of a darker color. So maybe like that. Okay, there we go. So it should be a color that's between this and this. That's the level of grayness that you should use. And then if we deselect, yeah, I think uh, we've picked that color perfectly. And also, uh, let me just turn this off for a second. Okay, just to make it a bit more interesting and a, a bit more sellable for me for my Facebook page, what I'm going to do is just move Facebook out of the way for a second and then and draw this over. So I have this image that I've created. Uh, so this is just an image of me. So I'm just going to add it like this here in the corner where I'm like pointing at my project okay so I'm happy with the way that turned out let's bring that down okay looks perfect and then what I'm just going to do is just go to that layer use the magic uh, wand select basically okay the select okay so try to make that selection but here we have just a, a bit on the edges so I'm just going to be using the polygonal lasso tool and just remove or add to that selection just this part around my head okay this is a bit silly but I have to do this part okay there we go so let's just remove these or, or add these parts to selection and then I'm just going to reverse that selection okay perfect and then just this part as well 
there we go okay here we might have some problems so let's see there we go and just go with this hole over here there we go and then what I'm just going to do is right click uh, select inverse and then go to this layer one and then I'm just going to use complete white uh, for that so just turn that on and there we go so this should work perfectly okay there we go complete white and then deselect okay so we have this image and then we have this image so what I'm going to do now is just turn off uh, layer one then go here to file uh, go to save as and I'm going to save this here on my desktop and I'm going to call it Revit render let's just leave it like that hit save click or, or let's go back so file save as yeah Revit render and I'm actually going to call uh, to make it a PNG image so just make sure you go with PNG and uh, just save it as is okay then turn on this kind of uh, grays or let's call it a depth map and just go here to file save as and I'm actually going to save that as again PNG and I'm just going to add here render uh, underscore and then uh, go with depth okay hit save okay and there we go okay so now this is saved and now it's time to upload this to Facebook okay so I'm just going to open up my browser here okay so here as you can see I'm here as you can see I'm on my Balkan architect page so what I'm just going to do is just go here to photo video and open that up upload photos videos let's go okay here we go so here I'm just going to go to my desktop so there we go desktop and just select these two images so go with uh, Revit render and render depth and hit open and it's just going to wait for a second for it to load so let's see okay and now as you can see it's saying creating a 3d photo so that's basically how this works it takes a, a bit of time and then it creates your 3d photo and Facebook automatically recognizes that you're trying to create a 3d photo so it kind of builds it up for you uh, itself okay and now it's done and as you can see if you move your mouse around your photo it's actually going to kind of move that image around and if you're on your phone it's actually going to kind of spin your phone around uh, as you spin your phone it's going to move it around which looks really cool okay so there you go that's how you create this 3d image on a uh on Facebook using just Photoshop. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. If you like, if you would like these project files or any of my other Revit project files or Revit advanced courses, check out my Patreon. First, a link in the description. Thank you for watching. And if you have any qu questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, of course, and I'll see you with another tutorial in a couple of days. Have a nice day.